I mean, Mr. Molezog, uh, please, please uh, have your expertise here. Um, our pri former Prime Minister used to have a three-point rule to everything. What's your three-point rule to how to get more medals uh, uh, at Olympic Games? Our three-point rule is to use technology in a strategic fashion. Use technology uh, first and foremost from a human-centric fashion, making sure that our athletes are always at the center of any technological development that we're doing making sure that we are working with the best companies out there and that we're not really developing in-house because we're not a technology company. And the third one is following an empowerment philosophy. You know, and our ultimate aim is to empower athletes and coaches with tools that would help them make better decisions. And I'd say th these are our three guidelines for success. In 1970s, Finland won tons of medals at, at, at uh, Olympic Games, and those days we were copying whatever they're doing in DDR, East, Eastern Germany. Uh, somehow they lost the uh, ability to win, <laughs> winning, winning. I mean, also over the Finnish Finnish Olympic Committee, winning, winning uh, uh, medals here. Uh, what, what, what would you suggest that we should do in here? My goodness, you know what? I'm, I look at, at my my field of expertise, you know, and that is technology and innovation. Um, I see that. Technology and innovation is today a concrete um, element in athlete success, and I don't, I don't believe that any country will be able to have sustainable success in the future unless it integrates technology and innovation into its infrastructure. You know, we, we, I, the, the times of training hard, you know, uh, like uh, Rocky style. I'd say th th these are gone. It's time today to train smart. You know, uh, making sure that your daily training is calibrated every day in function of what your physiological needs are and what your body can give you rather than coming up with a let's say long-term plan and just sticking to that plan no, no matter what or eat just raw egg excuse me rocket just ate raw uh, drank uh, egg, egg not exactly exactly yeah you know and i'd say you know uh, from, from that perspective technology is a strategic tool you know it's 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 a tool that helps you make better decisions and again any country um, has to start considering technology as a concrete part of its work, as a strategic initiative, and start building upon that for sustainable success. And try not to do everything by yourself. Oh no, no, no! I mean, that, that is that that is one of the mistakes that, that we used to do in the past. You know, we tried to do it all all on our, on our own. Then we realized that you know what we're we're not really experts in, in in everything, right? I mean, we cannot be experts in technology and prototyping, and we do not want to compete with companies who are very good at doing that. But rather, we want to partner with the best. So, so we currently let's say within the technology and innovation department and group, all all we do is really connecting the dots together, right? We know our sports and athletes and coaches very very well. We know the market very well, and we're gaining more knowledge about that market. And then, you know, we just connect the right dots together and help everyone work in a healthy environment. Are you working only with uh, Summer Olympics or also uh, Winter Olympics? I mean, what's your aim in next Winter Olympics for U.S.? Yeah, no, and I work with Summer and Winter Olympic and, and Paralympic. Yeah, um, you know, we, we've got different initiatives with our winter sports currently in place. And you know, the Winter Olympic Games are coming up in 14 months from today, so they're coming very, very, very quick. Um, maybe how many medals? May, may, maybe after the Olympic Games are over, and I'll come back to Finland and share with you some of the stories. Brilliant! Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.